Tangaroa in Northland's far north is a step back in time. This small community north of the Bay of Islands comes alive in summer as holiday makers take to the harbour for yachting, fishing and diving. And just a short drive away is where the locals get their golfing fix year round. The Whangaroa Golf Club turned on a spectacular winter's day as some new visitors came to town. The Institute of Golf swung by looking for the next Michael Hendry and Lydia Coe. What's this bit called? Rabbit. This? Chuff. She goes, it's so good. Head, head, toes, heel, sole, face. Grooves. Excellent grooves. Very, very cool. Whangaroa Golf Club were lucky recipients of an ANZ community grant, meaning these budding golfers got to grips with the basics from the best coaches in the business. If you try and lift the ball off concrete, so it goes pretty low, eh? Nice. Well, not really, because I hit up on it. What about if I hit down on the ball? Boom! Whoa! Whoa! OK. So, the whole idea is when you've got a golf club, I want you guys to actually hit down on the ball. And the man to thank for bringing the feel-good factor to Whangaroa is Peter Brown. The 75-year-old member is as enthusiastic about golf as the next generation. So you are the man responsible for the ANZ Community Grant coming here. Why did you apply? Well, Laura, it, I had the opportunity of applying for the grant, and I did this uh, absolutely specifically for our juniors. They're a great bunch of kids, and they're polite. Um, I mean, look at them here today, you know. Um, they're no trouble, and uh, for me to be able to do this just gave me a big thrill. Tell me a bit about your golf. Have you played at this golf course for a long time? Uh, about 15 years. There's uh, about eight to ten of us. We play on a Tuesday, and um, we're all over probably 35. We come up with this name, Cop and Dodgers. We sit there. Um, after our game on a Tuesday, having a quiet drink and telling a few lies. And I watched these juniors. They arrive after school on a Tuesday. I thought, wouldn't it be good if we could win this and I could do something for the juniors? So that's how it all came about. Tell me about this coffin dodgers. Like, how do, we, how do I get into it? Do I have to be of a certain age or a certain gender? Oh, Laura, you'd be miles too young. <laughs> you'd be miles too young. And young or old, the lesson learned in this coaching clinic benefits golfers of any ability. Now we're going to be talking about the most important part. And the most important part is the club face. If you guys get this right, I promise you you're going to be good players. So you imagine this is 12 o'clock here, right? So if the club face, the leading edge here, is at 11 o'clock, it'll go straight. The juniors soon got to put their new knowledge into practice, which gave me time to uncover the hidden gem that is Whangaroa Golf Club itself. You're in an amazing spot here. Tell us a bit about the history of this club. Well, Laura, golf's been in the county since 1929. Um, here at Whangaroa, we've been here since 1952. We've taken many shapes from a 12-hole to a 9-hole, now to an 18-hole course. And that's been here since 1990. Um, it was de developed by the members and paid for by the members. Um, so we've got a lovely course and it's the gem of the north, obviously. And Whangaroa has a point of difference from its notable neighbours, Kauri Cliffs and Carrington nearby. We're a country course, so we have a country spirit and nice country people. We're not as uh, upgrade as the other two courses around us, where they rose between two thorns, if you might say. We're hilly, we're um, flat, we've got lovely greens. We've got 250 members. Out of that, we've got 33 juniors, and they're the ones who are participating in the clinic today. Now, we've got a little bit of a surprise for you. Do you like surprises? Yes. Good, because Adrian from ANZ here, the very lovely Adrian, is going to tell you all about your surprise. ANZ have decided that they're going to throw in all these golf clubs for you all so that when you come to play golf, you can have these, use these any time you like, and we'll look forward to seeing you grow up and be professional golfers when you're older. Unzip these bad boys. Great, aren't have they? Have a look, check them out. Wow. But flash. Wow. Fantastic. You've got the ANZ Community Grant here today. How, how important is that for the golf club? For our juniors, it's a huge jump. Um, we haven't added much gear. We were lucky to get the golf gear we got today. Um, that'll help for the newer golfers that come in and also help um, the ones out there today enjoying the clinic. And proving golf runs in the far now is Kohai's daughter, Brooke Kingy, one of Whangaroa's standout juniors. 
So we have made our way to the 14th hole of Whangarau Golf Club, which is a signature hole. And I've got a very young, talented member here called Brooke, who's going to tell us how to play this hole. This is a par four, 306 metres, aim for the tree down there, hopefully leaving me 90 to 100 metres into the green. Sounds pretty good to me. Show us how it's done. So how does Brooke usually go on this hole? That should be an easy booty. That looks like it went exactly where you wanted it to go. Yep, very happy. So what do we do now? Hopefully get it on the green. Fingers crossed? Fingers crossed. Let's go then. <laughs> Brooke's second shot on the 14th. Looking pretty good. Not too bad. How about that? Yep. <laughs> I'll give you a clap. Very good. So you, you've, I can tell you've played a bit of rec golf in your time. Tell us yep. about that. Um, I've played for the Northland Juniors and for the Seniors. Do you like playing at this golf course? Do you play here a lot? Yeah, I live here. And your dad, he comes and plays a bit of golf with you as well? Yeah, and Mum. And Mum, it's like a family thing? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good then. So what did you learn today? I learned how to control my ball flight. Well, you got no trouble there whatsoever. Should we see if we can birdie this bad boy? Yep. Right, let's do it. All right, Brooke, Dad's called for a birdie. No pressure. Not many people are watching. Let's see it. Nailed it. <laughs> We're only a small community, and uh, for the kids, we've got to look after our juniors because they're going to be our replacements. And, um, you know, these kids, they'll appreciate this. They'll appreciate this no end. Um, to get all this coaching that they're getting today, plus a $1,000 worth of golf equipment that's coming to the club, um, what more could we want? So we're at a pretty popular holiday spot, plenty of people driving through, thinking about having a round. What would you say to them? Well, you'll see a lovely new sign out the front. Uh, you'll get great far north hospitality. If you're lucky, you might get some crayfish. If not, you'll just have to have a beer. I'll have both. Let's oh, yeah, go. Let's go. Let's go.